Oh, cool, there's the food trucks. Yes, this so, is what I was looking forward to. These are so cool. There's only five places in the whole world that you can find them. We got the palm trees mixed in with the uh, Christmas trees. It's a little different experience. Looks like this is the end of the road for me. This is not where I want to be today. We had planned on this beautiful day to be uh, going into Watercolor, which is where the very cool food truck village is uh, that we showed you last episode. We were also going to show you around uh, Topsail Hill State Park a little bit more, but we have car trouble again. Last night we were driving uh, on a light tour, Christmas lights uh, in Destin, driving through some neighborhoods, and we heard this like tick, 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 tick sound. So we pulled over and Jared went and checked it out. There's a bolt in the tire. That is never a good sign. Good news is they can fit it in. But the bad news is it's going to take an hour to an hour and a half. Not bad. We only had to wait like 10 minutes. And it was a $40 repair uh, patch on the inside of the tire. And we're ready to roll. So that's awesome news. Didn't take up much of our day. I can't remember the last time uh, I went tree shopping, Christmas tree shopping, in a short sleeve t-shirt. This is pretty awesome. It is great. I love how the palm trees are just mixed in. Let's take this Christmas one. Trees. All right, just, now the we take trees. this one. We got the palm trees mixed in with the uh, Christmas trees. It's a little different experience. I'm going with the palm tree. I don't know about you guys. Let's see if we can find a smaller tree that we don't have to like cut in half. <laughs> to yeah, get the size we want. Yeah. Dad basically said he wants a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Well, well, that would work. Or a palm tree. We're looking for a small Christmas tree. You know, they're a little bit smaller, they're gonna have to like cut in half. So that's gonna be probably the shortest one we have. All right, kids, no Christmas presents this year. <laughs> we blew it all on a tree. Okay, it's kind of cramped quarters in the back there. We got the tree hanging over into the, the back seat area. I can't sit back. You can't sit back? No, but it smells really good. And we got we got the extra pieces because we had to get it cut down by like a foot and a half. And so we got the extra branches and we're gonna make like a little, not a wreath probably, but just a swag to put on the door. Ooh, swag. Ooh, that's a problem. I'm trying to put Christmas lights on our Christmas tree, and one bulb is busted. When we had the old house, I used to sh like string all the branches on the trees, and next winter, one bulb wouldn't work. You had to go climb up in the trees to try to fix them all. It's not fun. But anyway, we're going to get lunch at the uh, Airstream vendors, right? Yeah, we're finally getting back to Watercolor. Uh, we were there last week, and we found a really cool Airstream food truck village. Uh, and we wanted to get something to eat there, but it was so cold. We didn't want to stand around. It was like 49 degrees or something. And we've been delayed a little with the tire and the weather, but now we're just doing it. We're here. We're gonna do a little sampling, I think. We're not just gonna get one, that one Airstream food truck. We're gonna go to a couple and each sample a little bit of a couple of different yeah, things. Yeah, get like... Good plan? You don't want any? Okay, I'm having Alex's. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, food trucks, here we come. We're in the grilled cheese one. Yeah, definitely the grilled cheese and one. And I didn't really look at the other ones yet, so we'll have to see. There's a barbecue one. Yeah, aren't these just the coolest things? You have an Airstream serving all kinds of different grilled cheese and cool sandwiches. Oh, you can't get much better than that. It's a meatloaf melt. Meatloaf melt? Mozzarella. Oh, Meatloaf marinara, sliver of ham, melted Swiss on sourdough. Man, the Cuban. Me want. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a pretzel. There's pretzels up there. Yeah. She spotted pretzels. All right. 
second place we stopped is the Wild Bill's Beach Dogs and Soft Pretzels. So the choices so far are the grilled cheese, multiple varieties of grilled cheese, multiple varieties of hot dogs, and soft pretzels. How's How you doing? Guys? Can I get the uh, Munster Mushroom Melt? Munster Mushroom, sure thing. Yeah. And, and the Meatloaf Melt. Yeah, Meatloaf, mm, nice. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm, smells good. All right, we better eat it because once the boys get here, they'll want to try it. And we'll get less. Aw, they left it for us. Ah, ooh, they saved us some pretzel. I know, I said that already. Oh. See, I told you we need to yeah. eat it all or they were going to come back and eat it. And we didn't cut down in mm, time. Good cinnamon. MMM, Munster Mushroom Nut. Mm, I'm hungry. Yeah, this is gonna be good. We don't go out to eat too often, like, ever. And, but we just we hardly ever. But hey. we just couldn't resist the airstreams, and this looks like it's gonna pay off. Oh, that's for you, Ken. Oh, <laughs> oh look at Man. that. This is like the grilled cheese that you eat with a fork and knife, I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's have fun video of Jared trying to eat it. Mm. <laughs> that's mozzarella, Scott. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? It's delicious. It's got caramelized onions on it too. Mmm. Very good. Jared's, he's, now that he's through the cheese mm -hmm. layer, he's good. There's no cheese left. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to What's Inside My Sandwich with Jared. Here we've got meatloaf wrapped in bacon, <laughs> covered in a nice Thin sliver of ham, followed by cheese and some nice bread. Oh, look at that. To top it all off. Grilled with a lot of oil and butter. <laughs> when somebody asks you, do you want something from the bakery? The answer is always yes. Nope. Yes. <laughs> bakery. <laughs> Cookies. Muffins. <laughs> cake. Donuts. So try again. Would you like something from the bakery? Nope. <laughs> Why is she running? <laughs> He's going down the steps. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> okay, let me ask you a different question. Could you get me something from the bakery? Nope. <laughs> McKenna is eating especially more because she has to get her wisdom teeth taken out especially on Thursday. So she's like loading and up, then, eat and then while you can. Cause, well, I'll still be able to eat. It'll just be like applesauce and yeah. milkshakes. And Milkshake. I mean, that's not that bad of a diet. No, that's not bad. <laughs> Milkshakes and applesauce. Watermelon soft enough? No, it's not. Yes, it Sorry. is. No, it is. <laughs> it is. I it's read like, a thing. I was reading an article. <laughs> Do not eat watermelon if you had your wisdom teeth taken out. <laughs> One sugar cookie donut. All right. Jared, of course, is first. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. It's good, yeah. Mmm, it is good. Mm. Okay, so Alex now gets a donut. Mm. What? I raised my hand first. My How mouth. do you not like right a donut? Here. I don't know. It's so sh sweet. <laughs> oh, look at that, the handoff. Wow, man. It's a you twin thing. If your twin does not like a certain food, you automatically get first dibs. Yes. Something like harsh afternoon lighting. Oh, car coming. Wait, so if you get into the Panhandle of Florida and are near Santa Rosa Beach, Miramar Beach, those areas. Head to Seaside. Head to Seaside. It's right by the community of Watercolor. So we were saying it's in Watercolor, but technically it's in Seaside. And check out the Airstream food trucks because they are awesome. Best Best cheese is good. really good food. All right, so we're about to head out and true to um, the theme lately, I have a flat tire. <laughs> tire issue. Hmm. Cars, yeah, bikes. And Jared just, it flat. was flat yesterday and Jared pumped it up. I didn't, I didn't break it. So Don't it's flat again. So it's obviously got a leak somewhere. We're going to have to figure that out, but we should be able to pump it up and at yeah. least get a bike ride in. Almost done. trail is nice and soft sand. Some places it's okay where there's like pine mulch on top. It's a little bit harder. 
uh, but the soft sand is a little tough. This hand cycle is not made for off-road because it's got super thin tires. We're gonna see how far I can get on this trail. I've heard it's nice. It's so nice. Look how calm the water is. Wow, look at that. It looks like, it's like a mirror. It's just reflecting everything. So these are the coastal dune lakes. They are only found in five places in the world. And one of those places is here in Walton County in Florida. And there's 15 in Walton County. Five of them are here in Topsail Hill State Park where we're at. So we're gonna show you the two biggest. There's this one and then there's another one. I'm not sure if Brian can get to the other one. It's a little further off the beaten path, but we're gonna try and show you that one too. So you might have seen along some of our footage of uh, bike rides around this park and, and some of the other Florida parks too. Areas that looked like there was fires that came through. Uh, and it was fire, but it wasn't just like a wildfire. What they do is, and we learned this from the rangers last time we were here, they do these uh, prescribed burns um, to burn down the brush so that if there is uh, a wildfire that comes through, um, it'll be much easier to contain because there's not as much underbrush to really just you know accelerate the fire through the areas. So they have a lot of these set up. They have de designated roads through the park uh, that the vehicles can get to, um, and they they have engineers come in and figure out the right conditions. You know, zero wind, the humidity, all that stuff uh, to do their burns, uh, so they can control them and you know try to preserve uh, the parks the best they can. So far, so good. It's just kind of packed sand. Uh, there's a couple of roots here and there, but nothing really bad. If the roots less than like inch and a half sticking off the ground, <laughs> I'm good because that's about my ground clearance. So hopefully it stays like this so I can get the whole way around the lake. We stopped here because we found the little green puppies along the trail. They're called and, uh, lichen. They're lichen? Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it. Like it. <laughs> I'm liking this. Like it. But what are they called? Lichen. L I C A D N. Oh, she she's liking it too. Yeah, that's that's Bye. the name. But we leave it, we don't take it along. We tread lightly, take only pictures and memories or something like that. Looks like this is the end of the road for me. Uh, there's been a lot of rain here lately, so there's a lot of standing water right here. And I don't want to go across it because you know what they say, even in your car, that could be like 10 feet deep in the middle. So you don't want to try to cross it. No, Dad, it's not. <laughs> Pretty sure. You don't it's know. Not. <laughs> you, seriously. So I can't go any further, but. I think we can get through here. They're going to go around through the woods. Maybe. Kind of disappointed that I can't go to the other dune lake. Uh, I really wanted to see it, but I'm also grateful that I could get to the first dune lake um, and that the path was smooth enough. I'd rather, you know, be able to go on half of a path than no path at all. So it, it worked out okay. They get to go up. They'll tell me about it. They'll take pictures and videos. Look, we're crossing the Delaware. I'm across. If I'm not here, I'm stuck in the sand back there. Okay. <laughs> okay. You at the entrance. Okay. So we didn't get to the other um, coastal dune lake. That's like a lot further, I think, that way. Maybe we'll get to do that tomorrow and, and show you guys that one. But we did take the path that led us out to the ocean. This is not the ocean, actually. This is the Gulf of Mexico, of course. So look how pretty this is at sunset. All right, we're headed to the beach to play bocce ball. This is one of the favorite things that we uh, like to play when we had the house with the yard, nice grass, you play bocce ball. We don't really have a yard anymore, so uh, we like to play 
wherever we go. And we're here at the beach, so we're gonna play at the beach. We have these little beanbag bocces. It's not like the hard wooden ones. It's not gonna be easy for you to play. No, it's not gonna be easy for me because we're gonna be on the sand. We're throwing the uh, bocce balls approximately in a 30 foot radius of where dad decides to stay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna be moving, chasing anything. Uh, I'm just gonna be sit stationary and they can just play around the vicinity of where I'm sitting. It's so beautiful here and I was just saying to Brian that I feel like we should have a video camera that you could just kind of set up on the railing here and watch people's reaction when they first get here because the girls and I came down the other day and there were some people behind us that it was their first time here at Top Sail Hill and they just, you know, they come out on this boardwalk and you're just overwhelmed by the beauty, by the dunes and, and then you get to the ocean and so it's, it's like, like someone oh. put food coloring in it. Rules of the game. This ball gets thrown within a certain radius of dad. Don't throw it towards the ocean. Throw this ball, say it's right there, and you want to get your uh, bigger balls over closest to that. So like, like this one won. Yay for me. Yeah, those. but we know it was mine because we saw it land now. No, now we he's did not. Claiming the points. Five points, and Dad has nine. First time, I won. Oh yeah. See, that's why they weren't letting yeah. me play in the beginning because they knew I'd win. While we're hanging out here, we wanted to share with you just some of the reasons why we like Top Sill Hill Preserve yeah. State Park so much. We've said it so many times. We do. We always I, say it's I know our we favorite park. It, but <laughs> we wanted to give you some of the facts and figures about Top Sail um, so you can decide if you would want to come here because it is, I think, the biggest Florida State Park as far as camping. They do have 156 full hookup campsites. So that means there's water, there's electric, that's 30 to 50 amps, and there's sewer. On and cable. And cable, yep, they do have cable. So that's on all 156 sites. They have 22 tent sites, and those are really cool. They're separate from the RV sites, which they aren't always in all the parks, which getting is really rained cool. on now. Yeah, now it's actually, forget the mist, we're going straight for rain. The Quickly thing then. with Top Sail Hill <laughs> is, it's kind of like, it's RV resort for the price of a state park. It used to be an RV resort, state took it over 20 years ago yep so it still has all those great things that resorts have but it's just not nearly as expensive yeah it's got a swimming pool it's got shuffleboard it has great laundry facilities uh, great showers that are heated and cooled depending on what time of year it is yep they have There's... a tram service down <laughs> to the beach There are boat rentals, you can rent boats, you can rent bikes. So there are also 32 bungalows or cabins, 16 of each, 16 bungalows that sleep four people and 16 cabins that sleep six. And the bungalows, the smaller ones, run $100 to $120, depending what time of year, and the cabins are $130 to $145. And those are really nice. They look like small houses. 
Yeah, they have screened in porches and everything. But we really, don't, really nice. we don't stay in one ever because they don't allow pets. They do allow pets on the RV sites and the tent sites, but not in the cabins and the bungalows. Uh, the campsites are $42, yeah, yeah. $42 a night. $42. Yeah, it's the most expensive of the state parks, but it's worth it for all the amenities that they have here. Okay, we, 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 we got to go. <laughs> we made it back from the beach in the rain. Yeah, we got, uh, it was coming down pretty hard yeah. there, so we had to Cause split. And we were talking about all the great stuff. Yeah, we didn't get through it all. No, we didn't get through it all. And so speaking of the beach that we left the beach, um, there is 3.2 miles of beach here in the state park, which is really cool. It's a nice long beach for going walking and, and all that. And there's no development along it. So it's all just dunes and really pretty. But they also have geocaching here, which we've shown a little bit of that in the past. Geocaching is really cool. They've got like all these geocaches all around the park to find and it actually takes you like four or five hours. Yep. There's like 13 miles of trails for hiking for birding and then there's 10 miles of marked hiking trails. It's really easy to, to go hiking around here and it's really, really neat. Yeah, it's not, there's not a lot of brush and stuff growing on the trails because they're, they're used so much so it's, yeah. it's, they're clear. 